Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about ventricular tachycardia, also known as VT or VTAC, and how it appears on an electrocardiogram. VT is a serious arrhythmia that can lead to decreased blood flow to the body's organs and tissues, causing significant pathologies leading to various medical conditions. In this video, we will go over the EKG analysis of VT and discuss its features and how to recognize it. Ventricular tachycardia is a type of abnormal heart rhythm, or arrhythmia, that originates in the lower chambers of the heart, known as the ventricles. VT can be a serious medical condition, as it can lead to decreased blood flow to the body's organs and tissues. Symptoms of VT may include palpitations, dizziness, lightheadedness, chest discomfort or pain, shortness of breath, and fainting. In some cases, VT can cause cardiac arrest, which is a medical emergency. VT can occur in people with pre-existing heart disease, such as coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathy, or heart failure. It can also occur in people without any known heart problems. Certain medications, electrolyte imbalances, and other factors can increase the risk of developing VT. Treatment for VT may include medications to slow the heart rate and stabilize the heart rhythm, as well as procedures such as cardioversion, where an electric shock is used to restore a normal heart rhythm. In some cases, an implantable cardioverter defibrillator may be necessary to prevent sudden cardiac arrest. There are several different types of ventricular tachycardia, which can be broadly classified based on their duration, regularity, and underlying cause. Here are the most common types. Monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, this is the most common type of VT, accounting for about 80% of cases. In monomorphic VT, the ventricular rhythm is regular and originates from a single location in the heart. The QRS complexes on an ECG are wide and usually have a similar appearance. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, this rhythm is irregular and may shift in amplitude and morphology due to different focal origins. Polymorphic VT can be caused by electrolyte imbalances, medications, or genetic factors. There is a type of polymorphic VT, known as torsades de points, and is characterized by a twisting pattern of the QRS complexes around the horizontal axis of the isoelectric line on an EKG. As a healthcare provider, my top priority is to ensure that my patients receive the best care possible. And when it comes to their heart health, early detection and monitoring are key. That's why I highly recommend the Cardiomobile Portable EKG device to my patients. It's a small, easy-to-use device that attaches to a smartphone and can give accurate EKG readings in just 30 seconds. With the Cardiomobile device, my patients can take EKG readings anytime, anywhere, and send them directly to me for review. This allows me to monitor their heart health remotely and make informed decisions about their care. As a healthcare provider, I believe that the Cardiomobile device is an essential tool for managing heart health. It's portable, easy to use, and provides accurate readings that can help me make informed decisions about my patient's care. If you're looking for a reliable and convenient way to monitor your patient's heart health, click on the link in the description below. Let us analyze ventricular tachycardia using the five steps of EKG rhythm analysis. Step 1. Assess the regularity of the rhythm. Ventricular tachycardia can be regular or irregular. In some cases, the electrical impulses that cause the heart to beat too quickly originate from a single location in the ventricles, leading to irregular ventricular tachycardia. In other cases, the electrical impulses may originate from multiple locations, causing the rhythm to be irregular. Step 2. Calculate the heart rate. The rate of VTAC can vary, but it is usually between 100 to 250 beats per minute. In this example, we count the number of QRS complexes, or rather the QS waves, in the 6 second section, then multiply that by 10, and we get 140 beats per minute. Step 3. Identify and characterize the P waves. Another feature of VTAC on an EKG is the absence of P waves, 
which are the electrical activity that represents atrial depolarization. In VT, the atria and ventricles are not beating in sync, so the P waves may be absent, hidden in the QRS complexes or completely dissociated from them. Step 4. Measure the PR interval. Since the P waves are absent or not seen, the PR interval cannot be measured. Step 5. Measure the QRS complex. In VTAC, the QRS complex is wide and bizarre, typically greater than 0.12 seconds, and it has a consistent morphology. The wide QRS complex is due to the abnormal ventricular activation sequence that occurs during VT. In summary, ventricular tachycardia is a serious arrhythmia that can be diagnosed through EKG analysis. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button so you can get the latest EKG analysis videos.